Hello Morris class and welcome to your final history lesson for this week. This is lesson number four and today is the 8th of January 2021. So let's go through our learning objectives for this lesson. Learning objective one, can I create a short fact file of a famous female astronaut who has contributed to national and international events? Our second learning objective is, can I identify events beyond living memory nationally or globally? So in our last lesson, we looked at the first human to travel to space. My turn, your turn. Do you think there are any female astronauts? If yes, why? And if no, why? Talk to your teddy. Oh, I can hear some really good answers. Oh, interesting opinions. Let's have a look. Well, it was kind of given away in the learning objective, but <laughs> let's have a look. So. In the early 1800s, oh sorry, in the 1800s and early 1900s, it was deemed inappropriate for women to work. Women were seen as home carers who raised children and looked after the house. Men were deemed the strong breadwinners and were allowed to work. So today we will be learning about a female astronaut that has travelled to space. The first ever female cosmonaut to ever travel into space was the Russian Valentina Tereshkova. So my turn, Valentina Tereshkova. Valentina Tereshkova. Now, second word, cosmonaut. Cosmonaut. A cosmonaut is a Russian astronaut. Okay. In the box, um, sorry, in the description box down below, so right underneath this uh, where my face is, right underneath you will see a link. If you click on that link, it will take you to this video. It's very short, it's only one minute and 32 seconds long, but it's a quick snapshot of female astronauts. So, Morris class, I would like you to go and watch that video, come back to this video, and then we'll carry on with the rest of our history lesson. So, off you go, guys, I'll be waiting. Oh, welcome back, Morris class. Did you enjoy that video? Give me a thumbs up if you did. So did I. It goes it goes through the sort of information very quickly because it's only one minute and 32 seconds, but it's enough. So let's carry on and find out who Valentina Tereshkova is. So she was born on March 6th, 1937. Her parents worked on a farm and her father was killed father was killed during World War II. Sorry, I had a bit of a interference there. In 1953, Valentina left school when she was 16 and worked in a textile factory. So a textile factory is a factory where um, fabrics are produced. She became interested in parachute jumping after joining an air sports club. Oh my goodness. Put your hand up if you would like to jump out of a plane or go bungee jumping or have a parachute um, jump. Oh, I'm going to have to very kindly decline that offer because I am a little bit afraid of heights, but I am intending on overcoming that fear very soon. OK, so Tereshkova volunteered for the Soviet space program in 1962. So the Soviet space program is the um, Russian equivalent of NASA. OK, so it's just a space program that um, in Russia. So during the 1960s, cosmonauts had to parachute from their capsules seconds before they hit the ground on returning to Earth. So when they were coming back from space, so when they were in their um, spacecraft and they were coming back down to Earth, OK, just before they were, uh, they were going to land, they had to, cosmonauts had to press a button which ejected them, which means that they came out of their um, spacecraft and they were flying in the air almost. And to have a safe landing, they had a parachute attached to them, just like you can see in this picture in their backpack. So they would press a button and the parachute would open up and then they would come down and land safely back onto Earth's ground. And she was accepted into the Soviet space program because she had completed 126 parachute jumps. Oh my goodness, Valentina Tereshkova is a very brave woman. Okay, when traveling to space, your body goes through a high pressure. This can make you fall asleep. 
cosmonauts were only allowed to travel to space once they were able to stay awake. So if, in this picture over here, so this round thing, this round thing that you can see is like a bit like um, a hamster's wheel. It is, it was a special machine where cosmonauts used to conduct their training. So they are strapped in, their arms are strapped in and their feet are strapped in so they don't fall out, okay? Um, and someone will push this wheel and it will go round and round and round like a hamster's wheel in, um, in a cage. If, you ever, if you've ever seen a hamster's wheel, it goes around and round and round when the hamster is running, okay? And just so the cosmonauts would get used to the high pressure of the blood rushing up to the brain, back down again, and sometimes it can make you fall asleep. So until the astronauts were able to overcome that, um, that high pressure feeling and stay awake, only then were they allowed to enter space. Okay, so she had 18 months of this training where Valentina overcame the high pressure feeling and then she was sent on her first space mission. In 1963, Valentina was launched into space on the Vostok 6. Right in, Vostok 6. Vostok 6. Well done. So if you guys can remember, what was the name of Yuri Gagarin's spacecraft? Did you get it? It was Vostok 1. And that was in 1961. So in 1963, two years later, Valentina was launched um, into space on the Vostok 6. So in between those two, that two year period, there were six different variations or different models of the Vostok. Okay, so I started off with model number one, Vostok model number one, then it was Vostok model number two, then three, then four, then five, then six. Okay, so that's why it's called number six because that was the sixth edition um, of the Vostok spacecraft. Tereshkova logged more than 70 hours in space and made 48 orbits of Earth. So if you remember, I explained yesterday in our Yuri Gagarin lesson um, what orbit means. So I haven't got my daughter's butterfly with me right now. I don't know where I've misplaced it, but it's where the Earth is in the centre. And then I'll use my pencil as it's a very small pencil. It's a perfect size for a spacecraft. Um, and it goes all the way around. It goes like this, all the way around. That's called orbiting. OK. After her successful space mission, Tereshkova, uh, Tereshkova never flew in space again. She later became a test pilot and instructor in 1976. Here is a picture, I'll move my face out the way. Here is a picture of Yuri Gagarin and Valentina Tereshkova during radio communication training. That's a very, that's, that's like a gold dust picture. Wow, very rare. Okay, your turn. So, Using the information on the next screen that I am about to show you, you are going to create an intergalactic passport for Valentina Tereshkova. So in order for you to do this, you will need an A4 sheet of paper, or it doesn't matter what size, but a sheet of paper, um, pens or pencil, something to colour in with if you like, or you could use something for decoration. So it could be any arts and crafts um, that you have lying around the house. So. Pause the video here, go and grab those things, and I'll wait for you to come back. Okay, well done, Morris class, for grabbing those things, and welcome back. Let's begin. Right, so, oh, let me move my face again. I'm always in the way, Morris class. I hope you don't mind. Right, let's, I'll, I'll make myself small for now, and then I'll make myself a bit bigger later on. So, Valentina Tereshkova. This is her name. OK, so this is when she was born on the 6th of March in 1937. She was born in Russia. She was famous for being the first cosmonaut in space, first female cosmonaut in space. She left school at the age of 16. She worked in a textile factory. So that was her first career. So that was her first ever job after leaving school. Um, she later became a test pilot and successfully completed 126 parachute jumps. She had 18 months of intensive training before she was allowed to um, uh, allowed to go on her first space mission. She was aboard the Vostok 6 and launched into space in 1963. And her first space mission lasted 70 hours and she made 48 orbits of the Earth. Okay, now 
you are going to make an intergalactic passport on the next page i'm going to show you what a good one looks like so on the front you could have um a passport so first before we even get to that stage you're going to have your um sheet of paper now you're going to have it lengthways so not this way the other way does that make sense so the longer side is going across. Then you're going to have on the left hand side of the page, you're going to have the bottom. This is my very rough drawing Morris class, as you can see. You're going to have a picture and then you're going to write the name, date of birth, place of birth, famous for, and then on this side, education, former work experience, which is um, her first career, number of months in training, name of spacecraft, year launched into space and other interesting facts and then once you have completed all of this you're going to fold it in half and then on this side you're going to do the front cover of your intergalactic passport now i've drawn a stick person but you can obviously draw your um draw an astronaut you can draw a picture of valentina or you can draw just a rocket with some stars it's entirely up to you but it has to say intergalactic password at the top so we know which special document this is once you've done that, then you can colour it in, you can um, do, put some arts and crafts on it, you could do some sprinkles, some glitter, whatever you have at home. OK, if you don't have any of that at home, that's fine. You can leave it plain. OK, the main information that you need is on the inside. So as long as you've got the, all of the inside, the bits of information over here, then you don't need to worry too much about the outside. So if you don't have many things at home, that's absolutely fine. OK, so. What I would like you to do is, I'm going to go one screen back. I would like you to pause the video here, or you could take a picture, whichever works for you. You could take a picture of this, and then you can um, look at it, refer back to it once you are complete, when you are completing your intergalactic passport, or you could do it the other way around. You could take a picture of the intergalactic passport and pause the screen here. But what you do need to do is you need to be looking at all of this information because it's on the page for you. And then that's what the information you will need to complete your intergalactic passport for Valentina Tereshkova. OK, so once you've completed this, make sure you upload it onto Tapestry so I can have a look. I cannot wait to see your intergalactic passports. I'm sure they are going to be absolutely amazing. And thank you very much for watching Morris Class. We've come to the end of our history lesson for this week. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. This has been a fantastic lesson to learn about the first female astronaut into space. Um, it just shows you that um, we are capable of anything. We can reach anything that we achieve to, uh, we, whatever goals that we set. So keep smiling, stay safe, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, Morris class. Have a lovely weekend. Bye.